Regarding the internal jugular vein, which of the following statement is untrue? It lies within the carotid sheath. It is the continuation of the sigmoid sinus. The vagus nerve is closely related to it within the carotid sheath. The terminal part of the thoracic duct crosses anterior to it, inserts into the right subclavian vein. The hypoglossal nerve is closely related to it as it passes near the atlas. The answer would be the terminal part of the thoracic duct crosses anterior to it, inserts into the right subclavian vein. If we recall the anatomy of the internal jugular vein, then we will see why it is the correct answer. Each jugular vein begins in the jugular foramen, where they are the continuation of the sigmoid sinus. They terminates at the medial end of the clavicle, where they unite with the subclavian vein. The vein lies within the carotid sheath throughout its course. Below the skull, the internal carotid artery and last four cranial nerves are anteromedial to the vein. Therefore, it is in contact medially with the internal and then the common carotid artery. The vagus nerve lies posteromedially. At its superior aspect, the vein is overlapped by sternocleidomastoid and covered by it at inferior aspect of the vein. Below the transverse process of atlas, it is crossed on its lateral side by the accessory nerve. At its medial point, it is crossed by the inferior root of the ansa cervicalis. In a separate video, we will talk in detail about the ansa cervicalis. Posterior to the vein, there are transverse process of the cervical vertebra, the phrenic nerve as it descends on the scalenous anterior muscle and the first part of the subclavian artery. On the left side, it's also related to the thoracic duct. If the video was helpful, please hit the subscribe button and like our videos.